And that's where I want to bring in our first guest, Indiana Congressman Todd Rokita. Congressman Rokita is a member of the House Budget Committee and joins us by phone. Congressman, very busy day for you, so I really appreciate you making the time. Uh, you bet. Glad to be with you. Just briefly, we're on the floor of the House right now doing a number of suspension votes. And uh, just got the news, uh, a bunch of us here on the floor, uh, about what you just reported on, and it's been received great. You know, there's been a lot of us uh, conservatives who have been, whether through social media or broadcast or cable news and, and, and through outlets like Newsmax, has, have been saying, supporting the president, saying, do not cave, do not let this go by because Nancy Pelosi is going to take over, and this is our last chance to protect us as a sovereign nation, uh, to, uh, to offer border security to the American people, which they overwhelmingly want. And so I am just pleased, at least uh, for, for a brief reprieve, that we're still in the game here and that, uh, you know, through the leadership of guys like Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan, other Freedom Caucus members, and even uh, conservatives who are not on the Freedom Caucus, like myself, um, we've been able to, uh, to, get, uh, to let this go into ex extra innings, so to speak. I don't call it a shutdown because – Number one, 80% of the government is being funded no matter what. Uh, so our troops are taken care of, our veterans are taken care of, and and, um, and health and human services is taken care of. Uh, you're not going to have TSA delays at the airport because they're taken care of. So in terms of, of, of getting what we need, in terms of a, uh, of a border wall, this is a good time to exercise our right for sovereignty. And it seems like conservatives agree. When my producers gave me this information about a minute before we went on air here, Congressman, I checked social media. Conservatives are, are rejoicing uh, over this news that the president will not sign anything that doesn't provide for border security. So tell me, what can your GOP colleagues in the House do right now to give the president what he wants? There's only a week and a half left. When the GO, uh, for the GOP to control well, that chamber. Well, you know, uh, Paul Ryan is coming back to the uh, to the chambers right now as we speak from the White House, and uh, you know we had a really ruckus caucus meeting this morning, and we were making these very points to leadership, these very points, and so now we have uh, the, the the air support, so to speak, from the president, and um, and uh, sorry, we're just getting a vote called, so I'm going to have to go, but. Um, uh, air support from the president. So now I want to go back, and so do many of us, and say, let's, let's re-engineer this. Let's do our own bill as an amendment to the Senate bill. Let's get it on the floor. Let's pass it, right? Or else, you know, you know, we have a problem here because we've got a lot of folks that aren't here, which is a whole other uh, right. story for you to write. Uh, but then get that back over to the Senate, where, you know, the Senate will be made, and hopefully it gets out of the House, over to the Senate, where the Senate will be made to decide. Are they for the people? And here's, and here's the whole point. Are they for the people of this country, the citizens of this country, the taxpayers, the voters of this country, or are they for illegal aliens? That is the choice before us. Thanks. It has nothing to do with a shutdown. Representative, it has to do with what your priorities are. So, Congressman, I know you have to go and take that vote. Representative Todd Rakita, Republican from Indiana, thanks very much for making the time on this busy day. Thank you, sir. Keep with us. Keep us accountable. Keep fighting for America. For all your viewers, now is the time. Now is when we need leadership. Absolutely, Congressman. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more breaking news coverage, exclusive interviews, and great videos, click over here to our YouTube channel and subscribe. And don't forget to download the free Newsmax TV app. Newsmax TV, it's real news for real people.